it's kind of warm today it's about 85 and sunny so hopefully the fish are gonna be a little active today but being that it's fall they should be uh, trying to fatten themselves up and eating a lot so uh, that way they can get fat for the winter you know it looks like there might actually be a catfish across the river over there getting into the shallows there but since it's fall and I, I think the fish should be trying to feed right now uh, I'm gonna be looking for choke points like this kayak chute up here and uh, basically I'm my theory is that they'll be stacking up in the slack water down here at the bottom of this choke point and feeding on anything coming through that chute which I mean they do that all year long but since it's fall and they're gonna be feeding I think they're going to be there more than anywhere else. All the rest of the year, you can pretty much find them anywhere, including those places. But right now, I think it's going to be there and not much anywhere else. So, let's see. I'm not seeing any signs of fish at all. Not even sunfish or cichlids or tilapia or anything. There's nothing. All right, so I came down to the bottom of the chute at the, where the choke point opens up and there's slack water on the sides of it. It's flowing pretty good over here, so I'm gonna move down a little bit more in those rocks. I imagine that's where they're gonna be waiting to ambush stuff coming through this current. Oh, there is one. I just spooked one out. There, that was a half decent bass too. Hanging out in the slack water like I predicted. Oh, I had one chasing me too, so there's a handful of them around here. I need to get back down on the other side of this rock instead of being on top of it. Water's so clear they can see me pretty easily. Alright. This is still sort of a choke point because it's so narrow here. And the water's rushing through it so much, it opens up this way and there's a lot more slack water. So I'm going to find somewhere to put my stuff down and fish around here. Even though it's a lot shallower over here, but it's all right. It's warm enough and sunny enough that they'll be up in shallow water today too. The deep hole up here along the bank. Ah, oh, there's a bass hanging out right there. He's interested. He's going for it. Got him. Oh, he slipped off. I don't think I stung him though, but he's still there. It's a tiny one, but it's a bass. Yeah, he's, this one's aggressive. Got him. Spotted bass, I think, maybe largemouth. There we go. Good looking little fish. Look at this. Colors on that one. The lines. Good looking fish. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to release anything from up here. Well, not from right here. You'd have to release it in the yeah. creek over here. got to be something hiding in those rocks because there's some deep holes in those rocks. I know, it looks pretty good. Yeah. Kind of makes it makes me wish we had trout around here because this is where they would be. Good looking area. Nice little stretch. Even across the rocks over that way too. There we go. little quad the fast current little fat one yeah I mean they're, we're not getting anything real real big but they're all pretty healthy
I think he's like eight inches, man. Yeah. Hanging out under those under the falls over there. Yeah, throwing into it just little and go, little by little. Damn, you got eye cooking good. <laughs> Got some damage to his side there, and on this side, probably birds trying to eat him. Probably. <laughs> There's a dead one floating right there. Dead one just fl floating right there. Can't tell what it is. Oh, okay. I was like, what the hell is that? It's a giant shad. Yeah. Well, I mean, out of the four fish I've seen today, only that one I caught right now was a guad. The rest have been largemouth. Giant gizzard shad. Yeah. It's that, that San Antonio rainbow trout. <laughs> I think that's some weight to it, damn. And that's even after something ate it. I'm going to leave it up here because I'm pretty sure a bird or some shit will eat it. Throw it back in the water so it become resources for everything else, man. Nah, man. I'm broke to eat that. <clears throat> I decided it already. <laughs> Got one? That's a bit of a nicer one. Ugh. That's a quad? Yeah. Chunky <laughs> quad. That's about the same size as that largemouth from earlier, right? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, there we go. Doubled up. Yeah. Those are better than the ones I caught earlier. Take a picture with both of them. <laughs> All right. Go release them together <laughs> right here. One, two, three, and go. One of them shot off that way, there goes the other one. Saw <laughs> <laughs> <all> that too. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, double up on nice quads. Uh, I, was, I already knew you were throwing too. It took me a few, a few hits though. I was throwing over there too, the, but I wasn't getting any hits. Behind that boulder. Yeah, I knew there would be one over there. I just wasn't getting anything, so I came over this way. And this one, like I was bringing it up on the, off the, at the surface. I was about to bring it up out of the water. And he came up and waked on it. And, Oh, real quick before we leave. You don't even know what my video was supposed to be about today. I was doing two videos. Mm. So, uh, how did you catch that last fish? What what did you do? Hmm. Looking for little eddies. Yeah? Little, like, you know, calm spots and Calm spots water. with moving water? Yeah. That's exactly what my video has been about today. Mm. And then the, the fish you caught over here, same thing, right? Yeah. They're hanging out in the calm water, ambushing anything in the moving water. Yeah. <laughs>